Former Minneapolis police officer Jay Alexander King back on the stand in federal court answering questions about his training and response during the deadly arrest of George Floyd. King, Tutau and Thomas Lane are all charged with violating George Floyd's civil rights. Rob Olson outside that courthouse in St. Paul Forest tonight with more on today's testimony. Rob. Yeah, Jay Alexander King getting cross-examined uh, for the morning by an assistant U.S. attorney who really pressed him on why he failed to intervene with with uh, Derek Chauvin's use of force, why he failed to provide medical aid. And King continued his defense that this was perception. He didn't perceive the use of force had gone too far. He did not perceive that George Floyd needed help. J. Alexander King testified that the scene at 38th and Chicago moved very fast in his mind, that body camera video shows a lot more than what officers perceived. Their attention is much more focused. Tunnel vision, he called it. In two and a half hours of cross-examination, Prosecutor Amanda Sertich tried to pin him down on why he did not give medical aid or intervene. He testified he could not see Chauvin's knee, did not know it was directly on George Floyd's neck. So when questioned if officers should intervene with unreasonable use of force, he said, yes, ma'am, if they can understand the force is unreasonable. Much of King's defense is he did not perceive Chauvin's force is improper, and that as a rookie on his third shift, he did perceive Chauvin is in charge, even if it was not policy. There's an unofficial role for seniority, he said. The prosecutor noted that Chauvin was no longer King's training officer. His authority was over, but King disagreed Chauvin could still not get him fired. Yes, ma'am, I'm on probation as a rookie officer. He testified he never thought Floyd was in serious medical need, even as he went unconscious, in part because he trusted Chauvin, the senior officer and teacher, would react appropriately if CPR was required, so he followed his lead. Challenge that he must have known this was serious because he checked Floyd's pulse and couldn't find it. King testified that he didn't trust his own pulse check is accurate, that only a neck artery could confirm Floyd was in cardiac arrest. But did he ever then ask Chauvin to check Floyd's carotid pulse, he admitted, I did not. And then on the uh, stand, the defense called a use of force expert of their own, uh, the same one who testified in the defense of uh, Kim Potter. And he said, too, that he reviewed training and he didn't find the duty to intervene training was at all adequate, that there were no scenarios run through about various uses of force to really teach when they do go too far. And he did testify, too, about that authority structure that uh, absolutely, as a senior officer and teacher, Chauvin would be somebody that would have enormous respect and they would follow his lead and trust that he knew what he was doing and uh, was doing the right things. Following him, then, a retired Minneapolis police lieutenant who was a lieutenant in the 3rd Precinct at the time of Floyd's murder, he said also, despite policy saying it's the senior officer of the first squad to arrive, in reality, it's always the senior officer on the scene, who in this case was Derek Chauvin. Live in St. Paul, Robelson, Fox 9.